five as well. All right. So definitely gonna go Cloud game one. You know, his Shulk is really strong, but against Sheik, it's just such a hard matchup. I'm sure he doesn't want to <laughs> put himself through uh, that game one. If he Funny feels enough, uh, Nigo actually has beaten K9 with Shulk at least twice in like two separate occasions. So I don't know. I guess it's more of a feeling thing. Like who's playing there that day? But K9 is not trying. Oh, oh, all right. Just even it up right there. He knew he was going to die, so he just took him with him. Wow. Oh, man. I mean, that's a trade I'll take any day if I'm a Cloud main. So right back to resetting the neutral. K9 not really slowing down. And these trades with Sheik, yeah. definitely in Nico's favor. Definitely. Especially now that her four-day range is nerfed. Yeah, I feel like those trades happen a lot more than they used to. Yep. Oh, man. Nico could have just ran up and grabbed him right there, but chose to retreat back. K9, though, fighting. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Nice catch with the jump. Forced him to burn the limit. Oh, man, he tried to end it right there. Yeah, he said, I, I know you have to use your limit, but I'm going to go ahead and say no. <laughs> oh, jab, jab to down smash. Yeah, he, he was going for a roll read there. He loves to do that. He loves that. When people uh, have gotten up from the ledge and they're still, still not sure about their footing on the stage, he'll jab, jab on their shield. A lot of people roll in and he just turns around and gets a down smash. And since it sends behind Cloud all the time and kills really early, it's a great uh, bait. Man, he barely lived that bouncing fish though. Oh, but the up air at 108 going to take right, Caught it. the jump. Caught the jump at the top. And where right. this was looking super strong for K9 right at the beginning there, Nico just turned it all the way around. Yeah, that, that suicide uh, Klim Hazard at the end actually ended up paying off completely because if he didn't get that, K9 would have had a very sizable leap. He yeah. barely even touched. Yeah. So the turnaround from Nico turning, uh, paying off in the end. Game so, one. Uh, He's going to run it right back. While he may be uh, proficient in the Shulk versus Sheik matchup, I think he's just a lot more comfortable going Cloud because it's not nearly as polarizing wow. unless that he does beautiful. that. That was beautiful edge guard from K9. That was polarizing. He was waiting for him to use up all his uh, resources on stage, snipe the jump immediately, and that was it. Very aggressive stock. See, this is kind of what should have happened in the first stock of the last game. So we're seeing like what would have happened if Nico didn't get <laughs> the suicide. Needless to say, though, Cloud is the comeback character, at least as far as you know the, the high tiers go. Yes. And not only can he kill extremely early, he's actually pretty heavy. Yeah. So I don't expect to see him dying anytime soon, unless. We get another crazy offstage combo like that. But I think he's past the percent where something like that is a, a huge imminent threat. Yeah. It's only very scary when it's... Uh, oh, oh! What? I, I think he, he just I, yeah, died he might, toward the back. Yeah, yeah he might actually just give him that stock up, actually. I think he was just as surprised as we were, so he definitely uh, didn't want that to happen there. Oh, uh, because that's super early. There's no way you should ever DI <laughs> towards the blast zone in that situation, but... That's already game two. Game right. three, decent counter pick right here for Nico. These platforms are going to help him with uh, charging limit. You can just kind of retreat to each platform, jump around, charge limit, jump around. <laughs> when you approach shield, jump to the next platform. <laughs> jump around. <laughs> yeah, you see it already. Like you already spent at least 50% like, uh, of this game on the platform. And uh, it's working out for him so far. Hasn't been super death comboed yet. Yeah. I like the choice from right there from K9. Wait out the jump and then try to sneak in that back air. But Nico is very patient. It's what he's going to have to be if he wants to actually make it back from deep against K9. Because K9 is a shark when it comes to these edge rights. Ooh. Beautiful conversion. All right, sneaks in his own back air. Oh, man, just outside of range to get that cross slash. And now he has no limit. This is very scary. Chance is going to throw him off, first him to burn it. 
caught out a jump that wasn't there. At 100%, you know, Cloud is prone to die from a lot of just weak hits off stage, just because you'll be sent too far. Nice. Oh, but that up B right at the Oh, moment. good punish. The I up think, smash. Yeah, I didn't think uh, that up B vanish had enough in like to punish correctly. Oh! oh. Nice two frame with the down there. But he, he got the damage, so he'll take it. But at 140, that up air will definitely take it off the top. Yeah, F toed up air, clean stuff from the K9 there. But Vigo starting to rack it up with the up airs. Okay, swiping right off the stage. Nice ender with the neutral air, but Vigo fights right back. This is neck and neck are already. Okay. So why Nico off the stage again? Ooh, that bouncing fish. If he Ooh, got he that, that was jump. Yeah. Oh man, that bouncing fish would have been crucial, I feel. Nice. Caught the bouncing fish with the up air. Nice. Pivot. Epsil spacing with Nico. Almost has the fully charged limit. Oh, great. Uh, empty hop there. There it is. Ooh, caught a jump again. Another catch with the bouncing fish. Oh, oh and he just goes Chase all him. the way to the top. Three up airs in a row from Nico. Very just patient, man. Just chased his jump all three times. Just do it, man. Until it, until he died. Really. That was good. Good stuff. Is there? I feel like this is gonna go back and forth. Yeah, it has so far. Both players taking some very aggressive plays and and it working out for them excellently. Except for that first one. <laughs> so town and city, an even lower ceiling. Road crossing fish right off the bat. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely gonna see some up air kills on this stage. Maybe wow. just a few. <laughs> Man, that was 36 percent. Man, that up air is really, really saving Nico's life right now. And he's just continuing the pressure in the air. Yeah, chasing K9 down very well. Ooh, oh, goes for the forward air. Gets the damage, but yeah, that, I like the fastball up there to uh, forward air attempt there. If you got the spike hitbox, that would have been even worse. But how's he gonna get this edge? I think he's gonna go for a, a cross slash at the ledge. Yep, that was well spaced. No in lag on that, so you can just immediately jab, Gra grab the ledge twice, but no punish from Nico. Still holding the stage down. Nice, caught the jump. Oh wow, great spacing at the ledge. So many options covered. You know, it looked like he was just gonna stand there and charge his limit, but he stood in just the right spot for a precise reason. Yeah, There's he's nothing Nico does without intention. Yeah. So his uh, pressure at the ledge is one of the best. Waste that, but that's all pretty much safe. Okay, I can't just try to bully his way in, but he's just trading and taking a lot of percent. Nice patience from Nico, man. He's sneaking in all the up bears. Catching K9 overextending on his approaches here. And this is K9's uh, potential tournament stock right here. Nico is not slowing down. Yeah, Nico's running away with this. Great bouncing fish from K9. Gonna get the edge guard. Is that gonna do it? Yes, it is. Yep. Barely, barely uh, enough time to get that stock. He almost got the fully charged limit. So 70% lead, definitely not insurmountable. K9 gonna have to put in some work here or get at one of those. Uh, Crazy offstage uh, edge guards like he did the other game. Yeah, he uh, did a good job of just pressuring him to the edge of the stage, but did not get the edge guard. And the longer he keeps Nico alive on stage, the harder it's going to be, especially if he gets a limit soon. But nice edge guard again, slap the jump, but Nico tried to save it. Oh man, backering him right back off the stage. Can is really fighting back here. Now he's brought this pretty much all the way back. Limit almost charged up though. He wants to force Nico off stage before he can get killed by this, this cross slash. And Nico just running circles around him, knowing K9 is scared. A limit cross slash could definitely kill him right now. Yeah. Oh, the Ooh, up air could have done it too. Barely oh, whipping man. the up air. Goes deep. Super close situation here. This is such a tense moment. Nice pressure from K9 with the empty hops, just forcing Nico in shield. Auto canceling the dare there, good way to get down from the platform. Now Nico just walking back and forth, holding shield. Trying to bait something out. 
but K9 will get the oh. grab and the bouncing fish. Oh, the pop off though. K9 pops off so hard that his hat falls off. <laughs> that King was a, fly. Yeah, that was great. Great yeah. comeback from K9. Great comeback. He needed that. Yeah. That was the clutchest of bouncing fishes. So. Yeah, he uh, just immediately went for the bouncing fish out of the throw there, not really giving Nico a lot of time to react. I mean, it's not a true combo at that percent. So Nico really could have avoided that, but he just wasn't expecting K9 just immediately bouncing fish. Right Honestly, there. he could have thrown out an up air and K9 would have died. Yeah. So very clutch play. So game five, where's where's Nico going? Right back, back to town and city. Yeah, I don't even think the stage played a huge factor in uh, Nico losing there. It's just I feel that he just got overwhelmed by K9 at the end. But last game he got a relatively early stock. I don't know if he can rely on that uh, to happen again in this game. Not not the game five to close it out. All right, Kane trying his best to just force Nico right back off the stage, but uh oh, oh wow, that's actually very good spacing. Right outside of Kane's range of where he would get uh, forward aired off. Oh, super risky play here. Oh man, and barely, barely makes, makes it back. It back. Yeah. And he doesn't get his down air to connect though. Wow, Nico, that was a very aggressive play off stage. It might actually just bite him if he isn't careful. Yeah, Nico's super liberal with the cross slashes now. He just wants this super early stock. Can I went really deep? Could have gotten a two frame spike right there if he wasn't careful. Down throw. Whoa. Is that gonna take it? No. All right, All right down two, forward air, force him off. I like the patience from Nico to waiting to when he can use his uh his jump and up B butt. That'll do Ooh. it. Punch the air dodge right there. Kayon gets the first stock, and now Nico's got to fight back before Kayon gets all his percent. Nice tech chase to Ford Air Bouncy Fish. Kayon just holding the stage. Ford Air Eye Shield. Swinging him right off the stage. Tried to mix up his DI with the down throw there, but does not get a follow-up. Yeah, K9 is playing very, very patiently right now. Just waiting out the ledge at shield. Nico needs his stock. Bad trade for K9, but it's not gonna kill. Oh. And these up airs are looking so dangerous right now. I wouldn't be surprised if Nico burns the uh, the limit right here to get this the kill. Yep. Oh. All right, that'll do it. Force his shield and then uh, punish the back roll with the dash attack, but this turnback is going to be very difficult. Ooh, Ooh mixed up it. with the vanish. That's it. So, wow. Great plays from both characters, from both players. A lot of heart when it's...